All right, so I got uh, wind spinning me up a brand new loop of the whole form of chain. I found a brand new Oregon uh, LGX chain and I've got the Archer chain and the steel 33 RS. So uh, first we'll do the steel and then we'll do the Holes Forma. Then we'll do the Archer, then the Oregon. And I may forget and change it up as we go get through this. Uh, I'll cut on this smaller light log over here. Uh, I'll do the first few cuts. There is a knot there, I'll skip past that, which the log stays pretty close to diameter the whole way. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get all four of them off that little bitty jot but i don't think i can and i may just go ahead and dock that dude off and uh do it so we'll see which one cuts best it's pretty symmetrical back to the next knot so i don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue what it is i'm not gonna cut through knots because that ain't gonna be very fair and another thing it's gonna be slower. It's not gonna be as fast as these chains can cut, but I'm just gonna let the saw do the work and not dog in because that's the fairest way I know to do it because, you know, applying pressure with one chain, I may apply more pressure or less pressure and then dogging in, I may dog in harder, stop the saw. Or if you dog in too hard, you get the RPMs down, it's gonna cut slower than if you're in the sweet spot of the saw. So best way I know to do it is just hold it up there let it fall through I'll try to keep my hand here so it don't hit the deck actually better yet I'll throw me a couple pieces down here and uh, that's the way we'll do it so let's see if it's still a start it's been sitting here for a good 10 or 15 minutes we'll see if it starts back with no fast idle or whatever Okay, so I got the Oregon LGX. It's either the LGX or the EXL. It's not the LPX because it don't have the like the safety bumper. All this is 3 8 full chisel, but Oregon makes an LPX. It's a full chisel chain. It's not semi chisel, but it still has like the safety bumper. Uh, but this is just the regular. All all the chains are just different. Same style of chain, just different brands. So I don't know if this is a. EXL or the LGX, I can't can't remember, but anyway, so here we go. This is the organ, and the last will be the archer. <laughs> My 
bone's about to go dead, so I'm gonna try to get this. Got the archer chain on there. Uh, it's gonna be the last cut. I don't know how much gas I got. Still well over half tank, about half tank all the cuts that I've done with it. I'm getting close to it, but I'm still about two inches away from it, so it should be still fairly fair. <laughs> to recut i'll put the steel chain on the husqvarna's and uh well y'all never even see it but the first uh i'll put this video out first the first time when i compared the steel and the uh uh the steel 400 against the 562 and 572 the bar won't fit on the the steel bar won't fit on the huskies unless i uh, notch the slide some more and so uh I just went down there and got a new bar and chain, and I thought it was the whole Forma chain or Oregon chain, but it was a loop of Archer. Uh, and honestly, the 562 and the 572 cut a whole lot slower than I have ever had ever seen them cut before. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, get the put the steel chain on them and redo the cuts y'all will never see the first cuts or i may throw it in there but uh we're going to redo that so uh another thing to keep in mind is that the steel and the archer chain uh made quite a few more cuts three or four more cuts and some kind of dirty algae wood uh than the uh holes former and the oregon chain did because that's what i test cut with but they only made like uh Actually, the archer chain probably made more cuts than anybody, but that was three cuts on the steel chain before and uh, three or six and about six on the archer. So, but it was that slow in the beginning. 